how's it everybody it is Friday afternoon and you're all in for a little bit of a spoil because you're gonna be joining me to go and catch a green mamba in the Mschlunga rocks area uh, green mambas are not snakes that I often get called out to go and catch so uh, every one of them is a really nice treat um, this one in particular is up at the top of a palm tree apparently and the lady says that it's about one no she said it's about two meters long um, and she's probably not far off because green mambas normally average an adult length of about 1.6 meters so yeah I did question her um, about how I'm gonna be able to get up to this palm tree because I don't have a long enough ladder but she has assured me that she has got a ladder that could get me double the height of what the palm tree is so sounds promising she has got an eye on the snake still and just hoping that it doesn't move off and disappear into adjoining greenery before we get there anyway we will see you there guys I've got Emily here with me for moral support and uh, just for cuteness purposes hello Ems say hello everybody yeah. Say hello everybody. Hello. <laughs> hello people. Alright, we're almost there guys. You'll remember one of my previous videos where I caught a green mamba inside the wheel of a car at a BMW dealership. So that dealership is just up top there. And um, this complex that we are going to now is right over here at the robot we're going to take a left into this complex and this is the only place in this immediate part of Mschlunga where I catch green mambas I do catch green mambas down the other side which is the northern end closer to the Umschloti sort of area on that end of Mschlunga and then there's the small little population literally inside this complex nowhere else around here uh, well, other than the one at the BMW dealership up there. But yeah, quite interesting that there's seems to be quite a number of them in this in this housing estate. Very, very interesting. I've been catching them out of this complex for years. Not many, you know, maybe one or two per year. But it seems to be a, a continual thing. I never seem to run out of them. I keep relocating the green mambas out of this place into safer areas but they just keep on showing up here anyhow we are almost there guys all right here we are right guys so we have arrived here and the people were a little bit worried because they had lost sight of it and they didn't know if it had maybe crossed over from these palms into these palms and then gone up into the big tree behind you but they said they've been watching here the whole time and they didn't see it cross over but they also can't find it over here well anyway it took me about 15 seconds and I have found it coiled up right in there which you're not gonna see but I'm gonna take you there in a moment does it jump? It does, it doesn't jump but um I think if he got a bit panicky up here and he was trying to get away from me, he might fall. Okay, I'm not going to stand close. Yeah. No, Come, you stand, stand this up. Okay, just stand right, James. And you just watch and you tell me if you see him going across. Okay. Just stand where you are. But if he lets you stand next to the top, I'm safe. Yeah. <laughs> You guys have a quick look. What is he doing there? 
he's gone to sleep. Is it he's literally sleeping. So do you cook the trees at regular price? I think so, yeah, Is probably. Most probably. Oh, and I got the head. I thought I was getting a bit of the tail. Yeah. Where's your Alex? Yeah. Got a big snake. Certainly not a small one. She's very close when she says it's about two meters long. She's not far off. It's just holding on with its tail here. So um, now I've got its head, but um. Okay. Do you need help? No. No. I'm just trying to get it to let go. Come on, let go with your tail. Okay, here we go. No. So I've not at the end. No. Your your size description was very good. Whoops! Don't let go of me, snake. Um, you know it wouldn't help. Yeah, okay. uh, and and I think it's better to actually have trees because then you're going to keep them off the ground. Okay. If uh, if you are forcing them to the ground, yes. then there's more chance of dogs and cats okay. and that. Okay. So I think the trees are better because it keeps them off the ground and away from your pets. I'll stick it, stick it in the bag, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So by 1.7 or so. Yeah, somewhere around there. Okay, oh, thank, thank you, you very so much. much. <laughs> 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 thank you so much. Okay, <laughs> pleasure. <laughs> yeah, they care. Okay. Emily, hold the stick, please. How's it? How you doing? Good, and you? Yeah, I can as well. Yes, that's the birthday. These are. These are. Did you see it was a birthday? I know. No, no. What's so early? It's lipstick. It's like a lighter green, yeah. No, they are solitary. And it's also not their mating season, so they're not looking for each other or anything like that. They're completely solitary. Yeah, oh, it's always snake season in Durban. <laughs> yeah. Well, except for May, well, June, July, August is quiet. Yeah. But I still get snakes. Okay. At least we know what the dangerous ones look like. I'm getting scared of my dog. Yeah. Dogs and that are a worry because dogs, dogs don't know of the dangers, so they go and grab hold of the snake. Uh, Ingrid said there's a snake. I said, where's the dogs? I'm going to Yes, and I'm yeah. just watching them until you came. Okay, so oh, thank you so much. much. Yo, 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 yo. Check this mountain. Yeah.